vacation here. Uh, Jeff will have you, but uh, before we do, uh, I would like everyone to uh, keep mindful of an insatiable pattern. She's a little 13 year old girl who has said her prayers and went to bed, and then because of people that have no regard to other people's uh, life or, or her safety and, and all shot through her house and hit her in the head. She's found at Vanderbilt and the prognosis is not good. Uh, went down there today to see the family and uh, it's, it's very sad and, and shameful for something like that to happen here in Lebanon. Uh, her, her mother, uh, Brandy, and also uh, a lot of people might know uh, her grandmother, Minnie Pearl McReynolds. Uh, she's done a lot of setting for people and watching over them in their times of need and I just want everybody to keep them in their prayers and uh, Mike, uh, uh, I know the police department's been going 24-7 on this and working real hard and we appreciate uh, all you do. I've asked Mike to uh, put out a reward. You can't put a price on this reward because you can't put a price on it on this child. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm hoping that someone will come forward, give us the information so that we can find some end to this. Uh, Jeff, if you want to do our prayer. Started here, uh, we had a resolution 151861, um, which is going to be uh, um, Saying thank you to uh, Ms. Sue Banana, but she's on vacation, so we'll uh, remove that from the agenda tonight. We'll bring that for another day. And uh, I think that uh, on item two of old business, uh, I've misheard her uh, for the zoning thing, and uh, we'll, um, I think it's consensus up here that we would remove that from the agenda tonight and then uh, bring it back. Everyone would be ready. It would be the first February. Or would everyone be ready by the next uh, second meeting? Huh? Second meeting of January. Everybody be good. No, February. Uh, I I would ask you at least to get this on by the first of February. We have the reason being is that we've had a lot of. Uh, We've already had the six, uh, um, six four, you know, um, for the first reading. We have now a lot of developers that are getting ready to be coming with a lot of uh, um, proposals and all. And with that, that the the changes that are due are affecting those. And I would really, I would hope that everybody be ready for the first of February so that we can not not stall them from their projects and moving them forward at planning commission because they're under some conflicting rules and that uncertainty is what uh, i think is uh, not good not good for the for the city to be involved so. uh, paul i think yeah i would, I would just going to add to what you said we have at least half a dozen uh, developers who are on hold right now There's some uncertainty about what's going on we, we are kind of in a limbo with pass on first reading and second reading. I don't think there's any rush to pass it today. Um, there are several people who have February deadlines. Um, if it's the pleasure of the, um, the city council to pass it, then that would be great. Otherwise, you know, it'd be good to have some certainty on which rules they're, they're going to be using for the next several months. Okay. Mayor, if I can ask Paul, can I have a list of those developers, please? Sure. I just want to know what they're yeah. probably doing. Yeah, there's there's some, there's some federal Excuse government um, um, that's not. incentives, and, and we've got a lot of people. That are yeah, that's fine. I'd just like to know, you know just kind of the gist, and I'll be fine. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Uh, if we just kind of communicate a little bit, but uh, as right now, I would like to bring at least by the 1st of February here in the first meeting for that. Okay. Uh, roll call. Lady Jewel. Here. 
Fred Burton. Here. Rob Sesternino. Here. Bernie Ash. Here. Tick Bryan. Here. Kathy Warman. Here. All present. Excuse me. Yes. Okay. Uh, approval of the minutes for December 16, 2014. First and second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, approved. December 18th, special call city council meeting <coughs> minutes. So moved. Sure. First and second, all in favor? Aye. Okay, approved. Now we have the time for the citizens' comments. If anyone would like to address the council, you can welcome them. <coughs> My name is Derek Dodson. Mr. Robert Springer, I have three questions for you. Question number one. Now that the sales tax referendums did not pass two referendums within 46 days, how does this city intend to finance the extension of Legends Drive? The city council uh, will make that decision and is uh, to my knowledge, they've not had that discussion. Would you like to weigh in on that, Mayor Grayhead? How do you intend to finance the extension of this draw? It's going to be a sport. It's going to be a collaboration of everyone up here and looking at <coughs> where we stand with our revenues and all. So, second second question. Um, I uh, heard that uh, you had mentioned uh, first of all back February the 18th. Um, you, uh, city council meeting, you lowballed the, the figure by saying that it might be three million or three point five million, and omitted the fact that most people know that a bridge span would have to go across there and cost uh, an exorbitant amount of money. And now you've uh, discussed a dam uh, as part of that project. Uh, I think on the other side of I forty to add in on, on the cost. Do you have a ballpark figure now of the two costs combined that you may be asking for? Would you like to expound on that? when we get the figures up, we'll look at it. But that up there is something that uh, you're talking about on Stumpy Lane that the community here has talked about for 20 years, maybe, of uh, trying to do a detention area and all. So well, it's just kind of looking at it. Is, so. is dry dam an uh, accurate term to use for what you're talking about with regard to a retention area? Yeah. So that sounds very expensive, does it not? It, it, it's not things in life aren't free that may be true so, but, but i have be no talking cost. about 20 million dollars between the two now now you're throwing numbers well, that, well that's exactly what you do that's February the 18th listen, when you right use 3.5 right now right now what you be respectful here are you willing you should to be more respectful to this community because you've demonstrated listen, over and over your, again that you that you're <laughs> dishonest this, and this is hilarious lie. But, Let's a lot of this community. Go on, make your comments. And my, then third question, you my third question is, Mr. Springer, you're a finance professional. Finance professional, don't you think it would be wise for this community to wait and let the $6 million distressed loans of Randall Clemens to Etherly and Capers where the ballpark was to be located, the arena was to be located, and good sports is to be located, to let that foreclose and then the city buy perhaps 50 acres uh, at auction, uh, then build Legends Drive through it and sell parcels of property to pay for it. Thank you for your comment. I asked him a question, would you let him answer? It's, there's no comment, no answer for that. Yes, no, there most certainly is because you, you spent your entire term in office trying to help them sell their land to bail them out where they dug themselves a deep hole when they, when they bought the other 33 acres over there for the Bible part where they thought they were going to capitalize on that, put two million more into it for a road through it to open it up, one acre sold in, in uh, three years from that, and nine years total out of 165 acres, and your sole mission as mayor is, is to help them sell that property. And that drives your dishonesty. Your comments, correct? For now. Thank you. But the next time I come back up here, go. Good. Thank you. Anyone else? Mayor, I just wanted to add one thing to that, and I, I don't know if this is the right time, but the truth is, we talked about bonding, and Mr. Robert, we already talked about bonding, both that and Legends and the other side. So we're going to actually bond. Now, this additional, 
expenditure. I'm sure that it could be done that same way. Uh, just like we're adding more design money now, and it was going to the bond. Yeah, that it was, is, but, but the, the amount it is, it still have that to be determined, you know, if the bridge is... Exactly, but I think we all talked about bonding. Yeah. We discussed the... Allocating. We discussed an avenue of bonding as far as a finance avenue. There's not been any discussion that I'm aware of of how to pay for the debt service on the bond. I understand. Okay. Yeah. But we did approve $5 million and five on the two, and now we've got additional planning or design, which I'm not sure how design works. Whenever you design it and there's new things that come up, that's something I'll probably all talk about in the future, but I don't know what design means when you pay people to design it and you find out other things, but that's something that definitely is going to be under your uh, review, correct? For our budget upcoming. If, if we have the if we have the estimates of the dollars, I mean, we can make right. assumptions. Exactly. We can make assumptions and how much that would yeah. cost, but we're we're still a ways off of having a dollar amount. I just wanted it. to share <clears throat> with anybody who asked. We had an initial uh, target, and if it changes, then yeah, I don't know what the design goes. I mean, I just stress it just yeah, I don't know. Rows. When the paper design, our early design, I let it dry. We're even very preliminary in the deck with connector right, right now. So wait till we can give the numbers that are based on some state averages or whatever. We get design, we get a nine percent design though, we get a better estimate. Yeah, we're gonna bid it someday. And but we're that's gonna, when the we discussion will first. Comes. We've all tried to get if the we'll design it first, then we'll talk about right back season, then we'll talk about construction. Right. It's right already coming in those numbers right now and all. Right. But I'm saying yes right now. Yeah, right. But we all agreed that that's what we would do is try to allocate costs so that we can bond it so that we could take a little bite at a time in our finances, right? Plan to sit on a ship for five years. You can do plan to sit yeah, on a ship. exactly. You know, but you got to design it before you do anything. Right. Else. Now, all this new stuff I don't know much about. But. Uh, I, I don't have anything. Just uh, keep prayers for the young girl. I think she's 13 years old. I'm going to echo that on there. I mean, it's, you're looking at 13 years old, but that's still a baby. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I, do, I know we've talked about on the zone, but I still want to thank y'all for the work you've done in, in answering some of the little questions and things. And it's, in a way, I know it seems drawn out to some, but it, I really take it in because <clears throat> from the position that I've been in, I've seen all the things happen around us, and we've been on the rear end of a lot of things happening to the property. You know, I've, I've had the retention pond built in the backyard. I've had the city engineer, not, not the current one, promise us that there would be no water running through our backyard. And I've seen my dad dragging through to his knee deep in water and told him there was no water there. He promised us it wouldn't be there. So I've, I've had, the zoning deals twisted around. I, I, I've lived it. I'm like the citizens that have lived on these things, and I, I, I'm thankful because we have some people that are taking the time to help us sort through this and make it right. And I just wanted to say that. Thank you. The other thing, Andy is not here tonight, is he? He's having issues with this. He said he might be here later, but I'm not sure. <coughs> he should, should be here a little bit. Well, I've got, and I know we've got another one on the, on here tonight. I was about swapping some money around on the Colesbury property, but Mayor, there's some issues with the deed on this other property that doesn't seem kosher to me on the one we just bought. I knew the price and I knew what the ordinance and stuff was, but there's other things put in there that wasn't part of our ordinance. Uh, I mean, we bought 38 acres and the building and uh, I know, but for 1.7, they they had a value of it uh, up higher and they just wrote that up on the contract as a donation. I mean. But I mean, like, we're, uh, we're also going ahead, I mean, we're looking at donations. 
uh, paying for the electrical use of their deals if they pull in? Well, they, they've got, they have so much stuff there, we gave them a year to be able to sort it through and sell it, but we're going to be in 90 days, have uh, possession of the main building. And well, we're going to pay for the electricity on their trailers, their travel trailers. From the well, they're, okay. they're, he's going to be there for 90 days on that, and uh, they are still got the utility still in their name. How come it says in the deed that we're paying it then? Well, he will be in and out, and he might have to come in for a, a time or two, but uh, that's just part of the, the thing for him to come in in, in his trailer so that he can... Uh, sort through all the other stuff that we have. <coughs> but it's part of it. If we've purchased the property and if somebody's there and their traffic right or something happens, who has the liability? He, he would have a liability on his own trailer, but I mean, you know. From a well, if it's on the electric hookup that we now own. Uh, and then we've given away, uh, you know, now we're doing naming rights on parks that we didn't know anything about. Well, and see, we don't do there. They, they have to, they, if, we, if, if, if we have a, if we should build a park, part of the discussion, if we should ever build a park there, that they would have the rights to, uh, to present some names. If council approved those names, then do. It's just giving them the opportunity to, uh, to have some input. But that was, I mean, and I, I'm all for that piece of property because I think there's a lot of potential there. But when you read the ordinance we passed and then you read the deed. I mean, bottom line, we paid 1.7. Just well, quite frankly, what I, what I was going to ask Andy is part of that was not in the ordinance. Have you even got the authority to do that? For negotiating the deal and everything? Uh, to we, give up we, the other stuff? I mean, is it, that part, well, part of the negotiation? Or, if it's you know, not in here, are we bound by it? Well, well not not in when Andy's place. here later, you, you can ask him, but uh, Andy Winton's, he said so that we're good with everything, so. Well, but what I'm saying is if, if we have that part of the ordinance, whatever's in the ordinance that allows the extra wiggle room, then maybe it shouldn't be in the next ordinance. What next ordinance? That's all I have. What next ordinance? If we buy another piece of property. Fred? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, first of all, my prayers go out to the family that went through that tragedy last evening and I uh, hope the little girl does survive and uh, hope I, we can find the one to create that problem for them. And the other thing, um, drain or uh, drainage, yep. Yeah. Where do we stand? Drainage crew. I'll give you a little more updated report. We have another meeting Friday with our crew. I mean, with our project manager, what we know of anything out the wall, we out the wall. I hope it's a little bit, but on our agenda, we gave out past a couple weeks ago. We're going to We're actually down in the uh, Orange Drive area, the Mexico area, a couple of the mayors right now. We still fall back on some smaller problems, but the <coughs> update really hasn't changed the last couple of weeks. We're on the same, same mode of problems. Uh, so we're working all the time. They got some key, what I call key products that are larger. They got the fallback things that are maybe smaller maintenance type things. But at least I'll afford to get to you tomorrow. The same one we had just, I think we passed that about a month ago, but it hasn't changed a lot in the last month. I'm going to get it back to you. Well, those, you know, those last two uh, areas that I gave you that the people have been calling me about it, uh, you know, on Green Avenue and on Bluebird. What's the thing you worked in? But again, the list is, there's a hundred items on that list, and we're going to recognize that they can all be done in the next two months. We're going to work on some major projects, well, less a small along the way, but, you know, we've got a list, a pretty long list, and we can only do so many. And I think we're doing a pretty good job of what we're doing, but, you know, we got one full-time guy and six hiring another full-time guy. You can only work so many hours a week, and I think we're doing a good job. But you can't get everything done in the next five years, probably, on that list. It's going to be a work in progress. It's going to be a lot of work. Okay. Also, two uh, light poles on North Cumberland. I thought last time we had that meeting, they were going to get on immediately. They still standing. I'll call them in the morning. Hmm? 
I'll call them tomorrow. If you got this letter, I'll call them tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Um, that's all I have right now. Of course, I mean, Miles gets a child. Yeah, that's that's unacceptable. And I'd like to thank Captain Van Hook and the job that he's done in a, in a pretty difficult position. And, and uh, we really appreciate the job that you're doing. <coughs> um, we're getting ready to get into the budget cycle. And I know we've got to put the, the zoning to bed in February because we're getting ready to go hard on budgets. And you've heard me say it before, we've got an $18 million deficit coming up long term in healthcare. We're going to have to we're going to have to find a sustainable solution, and it's going to hurt. Anybody that thinks that we're not going to be able to find $18 million, no, it's going to hurt. We're going to have to make some tough choices. Uh, coming up, we're going to have a work session. We're going to have some discussions on some, some dramatic changes in the way we do the water and sewer bill. And I'm going to ask everybody on the council for their support because, unfortunately, I believe currently the way we build water and sewer is completely backwards. The person that flushes the toilet once or twice a day pays, seems like a higher pro rata rate than the larger systems, which are the ones that tax our systems, which is why we have to do the retro and the rehab. So Robert's been working very hard uh, to do that. And this is going to increase in bills for, for some commercial people, but uh, I think that they should shoulder the burden because who, who taxes the system more? The, the residential family that flushes the toilet two or three times a day or something unfortunate like the high school that flushes it 500 times a day? They tax the system, uh, so I'm going to ask everybody support on it. I think long term, there's going to be some revenue generated by this, some dramatic revenue. But as we currently have about over 60 million dollars in debt for water and sewer, that's money that we could spend to 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 pay that debt down. So that'll be coming up. And, and Robert's put a lot of time, and, and he's he's been working on this for a long time. And I, I really hope that everybody would give it a, a serious consideration. That's all I have. <coughs> I want to echo the thoughts and prayers for the young lady who was shot uh, for her family. Uh, I pray that the uh, people who caused this tragedy will be brought to justice quickly. And uh, that's, that's all I have. Okay. I just want to recognize somebody. Uh, tomorrow is my dad's 80th birthday. And. Uh, that's a milestone in itself, and uh, it, his name is T.A. Bryan. Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, just, to get back with uh, Rob, I'm for anything that involves flushing commodes, <laughs> because I work on a lot of commodes, and the more they're flushed, the more work I get. So, a couple things I just wanted to just kind of again I, I think it's, it's very pitiful and um, it's just kind of a sign of our times about people shooting young people or each other I don't care who it is or who shoots who but it's kind of it's kind of pathetic and uh, you know prayers are with them and the child, and I just hope things are better than they are now. Um, a couple of things I just wanted to ask um, following that. Um, my understanding is Andy will be here later, and hopefully, he said he might be, whatever, and I just told him he would live if he did or didn't, but just take care of himself. Um, just, I guess, again, thank you for you guys, all your hard work. And again, Mr. Matt came to the meeting we had, and I thought it was really good. Um, this, these, this is a list of the changes that Paul gave me last week and what I have known for a long time. And these are the changes, so please bear with us um, on trying to uh, back into what's new, what's CO, what's used to be a B, whatever. A B that or a B this or whatever. So just know it, it's just not easy to digest. Y'all had the benefit of time, so you've morphed, and that's awesome. That's good. And then I also have a whole nother pack, and I think you guys are working on that. So it'll be here before too long. Um, but just, again, I think uh, just a little additional time will be good. The holidays, we started out in holidays, and now we're in the holidays again. So I think we're past all that, that kind of stuff. 
One thing I wanted to just ask, and um, I'm going to make a motion to defer this, which I'm fine with that. I think everybody is too. Um, a couple of things that were in the packet today, um, but I guess my question is, you know, we have uh, iPads, and uh, <clears throat> with that, I would anticipate or would expect and would appreciate anything that is an emergency purchase or situation. There is a huge disconnect in communication. And so we've got some after the fact here and after the fact there and after the fact. And the bottom line is it doesn't take but one sentence to say, you know, got troubles here, got troubles there. We've never denied, I mean, Jeff, you can attest to this, whether it's buying a truck or buying this or extra whatever. Um, but we got all these after the facts. I'm going, well, I didn't hear a thing about it. And maybe it's just because, you know, maybe it's just because it wasn't and things were so bad. But I would just ask, just out of courtesy, if we could just have a one line, one liner, we have to do this, whatever, and I'm good with that. But after the fact, it, actually, I think you read our charter, it's on notification, and what we've customarily done is everybody just gets notified, and then we're all good with it, and then we see it, and we all know kind of what was up. That, that's fine, it's fine. But after you see, after the fact, after the fact, after the fact, after the fact, there's four things, an agenda that's 12 long you just kind of wonder just somebody just tell me something and that's all i'm asking because i'm going to ask for explanations coming down and i'd really not even have to go there i'd rather just say okay good we're done it's all good it's no problem we've got everything from hvac units you know toilets whatever we've got it all um the other thing i was going to ask is um <clears throat> the lake street issue i know we have a resolution about um taking some grant to do something on some street, the east end of town. Okay, but it's a it's a it's a block grant, it's a community development grant. But <clears throat> what I want to know, <clears throat> excuse me, in the in the actual documentation that came with the um, with the information for the meeting, it actually says it's paid for by the city of Lebanon. Now, if that's incorrect, and I see this here. But still, though, it's still a matter of 145000 for the city of Lebanon to pay. Is that my understanding? You could add them on your agenda. That's what. Oh, this is not a business support the grant application. If you receive the grant, you have to have authority. Local shares 1456. Okay. It's water sewer improvements. Nothing to do with your funds, water sewer only. Okay. And the city would, would be responsible, in my opinion, for our share with public water sewer. And then, it's owned by the house before they could talk to the yeah. part of their property. Yeah, but it, it's just where the conduit is going through yeah. us if, if we are able to get this community okay. grant. And that's fine. Will it come back to us? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. I just I just I guess I feel a little bit heartburn because the truth is we have two officers over there and you know we have separate cans over there. You know, there's a lot of things we could do and there's a lot of things that should be done, no doubt, no doubt. But we own the streets. I mean, everything we do over there is about us. But I also understand the way the federal government works, and it seems to me that I just want to make sure I know who's paying for what, as long as it comes back. But I didn't get that impression from reading the initial agenda, and that, that's okay. I just well, didn't. Kathy, what it is is that over the years since I've been here, we've applied for community uh, block rent. Yes, we have we've for been, lots of folks. We've, yeah. been, we've been denied because of the revenues. I came across uh, the uh, fact that this, yes. and you can now, we're trying to do it in certain census zones. And by that, we might be able to get this. It'd be a unique way, a little different, but uh, we're trying it, and it looks very favorable. We have the plans, Jeff got them today okay. and um, he's going through it determining what is the uh, city's main lines and all that we're redoing and what is the city's responsibility and then also then we'll also know what percentage of that uh, matching is uh, we'll be looking at Lebanon House. Well let me ask you this um, just whenever it comes back, that was my main thing, is it will come before us before we allocate any, any monies or whatever. And that's, yeah. we but got, you could we got to be awarded the grant first. Yeah, you couldn't, I mean, I, I could not know that by reading what we had or by looking on the iPad. I, I 
wouldn't have known, but I'm glad you clarified that. I suspect the policy that you got left was to the notify you before we have to supply the grant. That's what this is really all about. And that's fine. No, I think that's great. I think it's great. Except anything. Exactly. And then on the other on the other end of that um, Carver Lane purchase, I really think we need clarification on if we allocate 1.7 or 2.1, whatever it is, I do think that, again, the council needs to be brought in the loop. You know, if we want to add this or put out another opportunity for that, if it's not in the package that we, you know, actually approved, I think it's good for us to just know. Again, it's communication. It's not that it won't work. It's just a matter of knowing what you know. Okay. Uh, I, I, you know, the idea of it was the 1.7. Yes. We offered the 1.6. They threw in the house and the other things, and it ended up being 1.7. Right. But so that's what we paid. Right. Well, here's the situation, or not the situation, but just based on just, and I don't know a lot because, again, we don't have any here. So if somebody actually pays for XYZ, and then, I was, then, then at the same time, they want to put in uh, 600000 then want it to be a donation. Now we've got the IRS in the middle of it. I don't know how all that works. I don't that's, know. On, that's on their end. I don't know that, how that That's works. on their end. And, you know, and, uh, the, the value of that property was, was probably 2.5 or more easily. Well, that's but, fine, but we allocated so 1.7. So that's just the way they did. That's what we paid. Okay. We allocated 1.7, that's what we paid. Okay, so we paid 1.7, and all that other ancillary just adds up to that? Is that what you're thinking? They, they just wrote it up as that way of being a, a, a donation to the city. Okay, well, I didn't, like I said, I don't know. There's no but different I don't know. than them writing up something and giving the land for the Ford Center. That no, I was here when that happened. We all knew it. It was not a surprise. So. We, just, we just did what we did and we were all on board. I think it's just communication, just knowing what you know or knowing what you don't know. It's not that it's bad or anything. It's just a matter of just knowing. Well, okay. is, that, is that a bad thing to just Well, know? I mean, you're, you're uh, I mean, if the, to me, it's, it, it's just in, there, it's just something that they wrote up. They were they knew that their value was more. They knew they were giving the city, and and that was part of the negotiations. And just like giving them a year to do that, and they have many days to move And I was aware that because Jeff shared that with you, so I was aware of that. Yeah. So, I just think it's knowing what you know. So. Well, we all know. Yeah, liability, whatever. Anything else? If it happened to tick in this property, I imagine it would want to know. I'm I brought saying. it up because it sounded like backroom dealings to me. Well, I don't know about that. And, that's, 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 that. and, and that I resent that. I really well, do. I really do. We should do. put it in. I really do. It's part of the negotiations. And in your so negotiations. So everybody would know. Then it's in the ordinance and in all well, the records. That's the part that I resent this part. There's nothing funny about it. We're doing All right. We're going to move on to business here. Ordinance 144671. Uh, Mayor, on that, uh, on that particular ordinance, uh, <coughs> CBS had a big story <coughs> on uh, this fingerprint hacking that's going on now, the, the, the screen identity theft. And I would like to uh, defer that and talk to these. This more for trust USA to see how they could make sure that our, our fingerprint would be protected, you know, because that's one of the big things that's happening around the country nowadays. Yeah, they're going from identity theft through hacking fingerprints and DNA. Is Tim here? No, he, he had to be out. I'm sorry, and Andy's here. Um, yeah. That's, that's fine. I mean, you make a motion to defer it one time. I mean, it's taken a while for them to get the contract together. And, uh, but I, I think that uh, your, your concerns there, I, I think that they could be able to answer them. Yes. Okay. Uh, first and second to defer. All in favor? Aye. Okay. <clears throat> Ordinance 144671. 
15, 18, and 60 in support of the fiscal year 2015 community development block grant. So we'll and first, second. second, all in favor? And uh, opposed? Ordinance 1548-20, first reading to approve hold harmless agreement with uh, Speedway, this first sign that's in the utility easement area. As will sign that. So first and second, all in favor? Aye. Right. Opposed? Passed. Ordinance 1548-21, first reading to authorize purchase of skid loader for the wastewater plant. So moved. First and second, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Thanks. Ordinance 1548-22, first reading to authorize a budget amendment for building maintenance. This is replacing, uh, this is, Some this is something that we all knew of. This yeah. is uh, the floor out front. And yes, it's after the fact, but that was the floor replacement of that where it's very dangerous. That's fine. And I, I just had, okay, I got to say, I'll do a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I just had one question. I just didn't know. We just had to replace the entire floor, right? Yes. Okay. It, it was in the budget anyway, right? No. Okay. This so was an emergency so. spending because the chemical cleaning chemicals caused the tiles to come Flow loose. Up. Some of them were just sitting loose around. Others yeah. had turned yeah. up. A trip on. And it was a trip. And it was right in I the understand. lobby area where they're coming in to pay utility bills. Thank you for that information. Ordinance fifteen forty eight twenty three first reading to appropriate reappropriate. Yes, I thought we did. We took the vote there. Do you all in favor of that? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, if we didn't, we did it twice. Uh, ordinance 154823, first reading, uh, reappropriate funds from the 213 fiscal year to the 1415. This is an adjustment done uh, for the rebuilding of the little building at Fox Park that burnt. The insurance revenue came in last year. We had to get it out of last year's into this year. And I understand it. Thank you. So second. All in favor? Aye. Ordinance 1548-24, first reading to authorize the line item transfers for the major reader. So moved. And first. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? 1548-25, first reading to authorize the budget amendments for administration for public relations and notices. So second. First and second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Passed. Ordinance uh, 1548-26, first reading to authorize the budget amendment for administration allocating funds for the purchase of the uh, 520 Coast Ferry. This is just <coughs> work for Robert. The original ordinance that authorized the purchase said that it would come from fund balance, but it did not identify the line item number that it would go into. This was simply an accounting thing to identify the line item that the money goes into. Also, too, you don't know, explain a little bit uh, about the taxes. Mr. Burton asked me about the taxes that was on there. Uh, the closing statement shows that the city was credited for taxes, but we actually paid them. But we were given credit on it off of the uh, purchase price. So we net them, we didn't pay. They didn't know the amounts right now. I hadn't got the bills that way. All in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, do I have first and second? Do I have first and second? So moved. First, second, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Passed. Ordinance 154829, first reading uh, reappropriate <coughs> funds from the 2013 14 to the 14 15 fiscal year by the purchase of radios and related equipment. Could we skip? I'm sorry. 2827. Okay. And I'd make a motion on that one All right. for the HPAC unit. Second. All right. Well, we'll move back up. I wrote down pass on the wrong one there. Ordinance 154827, first reading authorized the budget amendment for the general maintenance. This is an HPAC uh, over at uh, 
Yeah, let's operate prayers. Yes, it's well overdue. I'd make that motion. Second. <clears throat> First and second, all in favor? Aye. Uh, ordinance 1548-29, first reading to reappropriate funds for the 13-14 fiscal year budget to the 14-15 purchase of radios. Amen. Second. First and second. Uh, last invoice. Kind of radio, this is that this is the final invoice of that large purchase of radios. You remember for <coughs> all the emergency responders, police, fire, uh, public safety so that they all could communicate with each other and or the emergency responders and this was part of that several hundreds of thousands of dollars that the city committed to spend last uh, or late last summer but this is the final invoice of six thousand dollars that we got in have we got all the radios in do you know oh yes sir we got all yes sir <laughs> all right all in favor aye opposed passed Order 154830, first reading allocates the funds from the sign of the SR 109 Beckwith Road connector. I can motion the next I understand you got a flux in numbers. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, flux. And uh, the route I think that we're looking at is the one that showed up the options instead of the B2. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Opposed? Uh, we're going to have a, I'll call Andy and see if he's yeah, going to be here or not. And then uh, if he's going to be here real soon, we'll have a, a legal meeting. Mayor, I told him on October 25th, I said, I'm going to take care of your CPA. Whatever that may be, we've got to start with the protocol.